Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner on Smithville Dam. <clears throat> Picking up right where we left off, and we're going to get to it. No more discussion about what truck to use. I still don't know if I'm making the right choice. I still think the Mark 31 would be an amazing choice for negotiating the mud holes and the tight turns and the close spaces between the rocks as far as picking up those cargo containers. But for fuel mileage, it sucks. This thing actually gets the same mileage as that truck, but where that truck has 295 liters of fuel, this one has 450. So we're picking up one service spare parts I'm comparing to make sure I get the right thing. The list says service spare parts, not vehicle spare parts. So we got one thing on our four spot train. I don't want to go anywhere near that time machine. Because then it'll just show up on my list again. I've done it. But if I drive through it, it'll reappear on my list of things to do. Kind of fighting with the steering on this one a little bit too, but not as bad as the MTVR. I want to go down to the farm, but I want to get this and the MTVR both down to the farm. So I'm going to stop this here and switch to that vehicle. Switch to the right one and drive it over to the back end of that trailer so I can hook the two up together with the winch. I'm only doing this to try and avoid the extra half hour or 45 minutes it would take to get these fuel, to get this fuel and supplies over to Drummond Island if I just drove them over by myself. You know, without, uh, without combining it with another load like this. I'm just trying to do a little time saver. And I don't know if it will be or not because of all the various times that I'm going to have to unhook the winch and drive the uh, MTVR by itself. But The times I'm, I was just thinking about putting the ramps down and letting it ride on the trailer, but uh, the times in the past that I've tried to do that, they always fall off because you can't pack them. 
I think they fixed that in a patch. But I'm not going to test it. Just take more time. Every little thing takes more time. trying to give you your money's worth, man. Although I'm not making a red cent on this. I'm just doing it because I enjoy playing the game and... I think... Maybe there's one or two people out there that might enjoy watching what I do. See, this thing is cool. The trailer and the other truck. Well, I was going to say no problem. That's odd. When I pulled the MTV, when I pulled the uh, Mark 23 a little closer, Boron said it's a car. Maybe the Mark 23 No, it's not in contact with the trailer. I think just where the car turns around, sit and it was going up. Now, comparing that to the Mark 23, the Mark 23 gets through the mud better. to uh, drop through here and go load up my truck with one consumable. Well, there we go. Now to get down to the drill site. You know, really the only reason I bother with recording these and, and taking the time to put them on YouTube is that um, I think maybe there's, you know, a new player out there that hasn't done what I'm doing. and maybe they can learn something but then again I fuck up so much maybe maybe you can learn from my mistakes maybe that's a better way to look at it which mark 23 am I in? this one
But I always... I've always tried to do things efficiently. Which is why I'm dicking around with this right now. I could have off camera just drove this truck down there. The Mark 23, I mean. And then come back once I get the Mark 23 all the way down to Drummond Island where I want it, then come back and record doing this. Make sure I get that thing up here close enough. Oh, damn it. I just hit the wrong button and released the winch. It's back on. Jay, like I say, I fuck up all the time. <laughs> um, just a fact of life, man, when you have dementia. So maybe you can learn something from what I'm doing, or maybe you can learn something from my mistakes. Maybe you can learn a better way. Maybe you can look what I'm doing and say, well, shit, wouldn't it be better to do it this other way? I will tell you that I use a, a lot of mods. This this vehicle right you're looking at is a mod. The truck I'm pulling is a mod. The trailer I'm pulling is a mod. There is a there is an M747 in the game. This is an off-road version of that trailer. I can hear the uh, I can hear the Mark 23 bouncing around behind me. Is it still on its wheels? Yeah. I have to be very careful here. Oh, 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 oh. I think the game <clears throat> I've said this in the past. I think there's a game can that whenever you're in a precarious position like that. The g game mechanic... Oops. Steering the wrong way because... I'm looking the wrong way. I think there's a game mechanic that puts you in... I don't know. Uh, uh, let me look at the map. Okay. Um, let me try and finish that sentence in another way. There's a game mechanic that says if you can fuck up 
it will make you fuck up. <laughs> there's kind of like a Murphy's Law game mechanic. Like if there's a telephone pole to hit, you will hit it. Um, if there's a giant boulder that you want to try to avoid, it's going to steer you towards it. Um, like down here, if there's a cliff edge to go over, like what we're approaching, if there's a cliff edge to go over, it will steer you over it. Like the first time I came through here. I think I'm going to release the uh, Mark 23 right there. I think I'm going to go back to it and shut the, f shut the engine off. Uh, well, let me change it. It's too close to the stuff on the screen. There it goes. Stop engine. Change truck. Voron grad. All right. I know I just had the headlights on. I suppose because I changed out of it. I hope I made the right decision on a truck. Maybe one of the Tegas would have worked better. I start. I was talking about my theory. Like the first time I came through here with that Mark 23, how it started to turn toward the edge all by itself right there. And I don't know if you noticed it, just right there where I'm sitting, the front wheels, the steer tires, started turning left toward that rock all on their own. I wasn't doing that. You know, I didn't steer it into the tree on purpose. It just kind of went that way on its own. All along the route, every time there's something the truck can run over or run into, I have to try and steer it away from that, or it will head for it all on its own. Hmm. When this thing starts having trouble in the mud, it makes me wonder if I chose the right truck. When I get this up to the drill site and get it loaded, then I'll go switch back to the Mark 23 and drive it up here. Then I'll switch to the Voron and get it across the lake, and then I'll switch back to the Mark 23 and get it across the lake. So, gonna be some switching back and forth. Did I miss daytime? I started out at night. It looked like it was starting to get a little light out, but now it's dark again. we get in here? One fuel. Last pickup will be the wooden planks. So far we got that much.
And this is as good a time as any to bring up the Mark 23. Yeah, I know there's one sitting there already. That one's meant to stay here, and the other one's meant to go to Drummond Island. So I'm learning it's the second of the three Mark 23s on the list. This is the third Mark 23 with fuel tires and repair points that I'm distributing around the map or maps. Oh, my controller shut off. My batteries must be getting low. Just have to put up with it for now. So you kind of dived for that big rocker right there. If I just barged my way straight through the trees, I wouldn't have to go around this loop. Come on, honey. Get a move on. You know, like, why did it dive to the right there? Is, is it just a a rut in the mud that it was following. I've watched people play just very short things like 10 minutes of testing a vehicle or something. And I don't see them having problems with the thing diving this way or that way. But of course, they're on they're on that uh, either summer or winter proving ground. They're not on a, a map. But. I still think it's partly the game and it's partly my controller. Since I'm in this one, should I just take it on across? I don't remember how I got there. I think I went through here. There was a couple stumps I had to manage. Of course, that won't be a problem with the tree mod. Um, and then I came over here, and I think I came around this side of the rock, if I remember right. And then the rest of it you just follow. Because of the twisting back and forth, I wouldn't try to tow this thing across. Oh, pretty flowers. 
I remember before I had the tree mod, I always had to make sure that I went between these stumps. But now it doesn't matter. So I just knock them over. I think I'm going to be able to see these rocks laying under the water better in daylight. But... This is actually a pretty safe crossing. I've done worse. Yeah, I think it's finally getting light out. 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes into the video, it's finally getting light out. That's a tree you could knock down whether you have a mod or not. This side is more tricky. There are certain places you have to make sharp turns. Be careful there. between those two boulders and then you can ride this rock shelf And then here there's just a little bit where you dive in, but then you climb right up out of it. And you come up by the farmhouse, and there's a couple more bolt stumps you would ordinarily have to try to avoid in um, the original playthrough there was a curtain side trailer that you had to deliver somewhere it was parked right here at this house I'll show you in a second there were two jobs for curtain sides one of them one of the curtain sides you had to deliver to the island we just crossed and then the other curtain side was parked right back here and you had to deliver that one somewhere else way across the map but right now I'm gonna jump back to this truck I've got three of the four items I need I just gotta get it across the river. Okay. Even with the bigger fuel tank, I'm gonna need fuel before I get to where I'm going with this thing.
That's a goodie. I know there's a stump there, but... I shouldn't be having trouble... Is it the landing gear getting hung up? Am I high centered on the landing gear? I think that's what it was. That's <clears throat> one disadvantage of this trailer is the low landing gear. I don't need to see that far ahead. I need to see what I'm about to drive on. Fighting the current too, trying to push me down the river. to take a picture. All these twists and turns is where the trailer could get stuck on the rocks or something. But it seems to be coming along. There's a big hill coming up. Oops, I'm popping. Um, uh, looks inviting to go the other way around, but I think I'll stay over on this side of the big boulder. The trailer's gonna drop in a little bit. But it pulled through those four axles. <clears throat> Even if one or two axles drop in, the other two axles are still solid, you know, and then it picks up the front axles before it drops in the rear axles. Should I do it the other way? Or should I tow it the other way around? Just for shits and giggles? Why not? Let me figure out where... Whoops. What am I doing? Trying. There we go. I was trying to scroll to zoom out and I was on the list over here which only made the list move. Yeah, up the hill 
take a left. I remember this is a really steep hill. I remember trying it once with the P12 and it didn't have enough nuts to even get up the hill. As long as I got the Mark 23 in front of me, let's try doing it this way. I'll have to start engine to, in order to get a winch point. Okay. Try switching it around. See how this thing does on the big hill. Double checking. Before I drive five minutes the wrong way. Where you run into problems is right ahead of me. It gets steeper and it's covered in boulders. Rocks, um, they roll under your tires. First you can't get over it and then they just start rolling and even if you do manage to pop over it, it just screws you up. And they've changed the... I don't think I've mentioned this. They've changed these Michigan maps since I first played through them. They're basically the same, but they're different too. Like they've changed how the mud looks. And I, th I think it's mostly just visual changes. I'm not sure if they've made the mud harder to get through or anything. See, no problem. I still remember the time I I downloaded a. a Pacific P12 mod, I think it was called the Blue Line or something. I fit it out. Um, I believe I fit it out with a two spot flatbed and crane. I came across. I came across the. Um, that goes somewhere else. I came across the uh, lake and the island just like I did right now and then I came, started to come up the hill with a load on it. Uh, 
I don't remember wood planks, metal beams, I don't remember. Um, I was heading for the gate to Drummond Island with a load on it, and it didn't have the nuts to go up that hill. It got up to where the rocks were, and then it just sat there spinning the tires, or, or it didn't even have the power to spin the tires. Let me stop and release this uh, truck behind me. And since we have to go back through the gate, I'm going to turn this one around. So look, it needs fuel by the time we get to the gate. I'm going to have to tap its own fuel supply for both trucks. before we, by the time we get to the Drummond Island gate. Well, let's see, let me park this off to the side. So I can pull up beside it with the other truck and fuel both of them. stop engine in the time that I'm for the time that I'm screwing around with the other truck now take this one this one has more fuel left 79 liters but it started out with more so it probably kind of evens out in the end This one carries more fuel, but gets worse mileage, maybe. Of course, when you're towing a vehicle, it burns more fuel. When you're pulling a trailer, it burns more fuel. Wooden planks. One. There's a different job I'll need concrete blocks for, but... There we go. Got all four items for the super order. You know what, did I pick up the wrong shit? I don't think this stuff is going to... This stuff isn't going to Drummond Island. Oh, for fuck's sake. I needed one metal beam and one concrete slab. For the Drummond Island order. I'm so fucking stupid. This is the logistics base order. Which is... Right there. back down here and up that way. Ah, oh, fuck me. There's still no reason I can't take the Mark 23 over to Drummond Island. But I was going to pick up the Drummond Island order, the metal beams and the concrete slab, but the fucking game 
put this one on my screen. So that's just what I picked up without even thinking until right now when it said deliver to the logistics base I'm thinking why does it say deliver to the logistics base it should say deliver to port on Drummond Island ah <sighs> son of a bitch well you know what there's a trailer store right there and I think I can get oh I can't get the concrete slab here With the truck sitting there, I can't pick out anything. But I have to get the concrete slab from over there. So I'd have to buy a trailer. What I was thinking was buy a trailer and pick up the shit that I need for Drummond Island. It would take me half hour to 45 minutes to go down that twisty ass road get a concrete slab and bring it back up here where I can get the metal beam so I guess I'll finish out this episode by just delivering the mark 23 over to Drummond Island where I want it after I fuel it mmm that makes me mad because I would have taken a completely different route I would have picked up the concrete slab first and then came up the long twisty road to get the metal beam and then we'd be off to Drummond Island I would have taken a completely different route across the map which frankly wouldn't taken wouldn't have taken half as long You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to burn all that fuel in this thing. When I'm when there's a trailer store 500 feet up the road. And I can buy a fuel trailer oops I meant to I meant to swing the cab around as I went back but 
again this you know steering responsiveness deal I'm going to drag this trailer with me up to the trailer store. God, that pisses me off. Well, so does that, but... Um... This, this this thing turns pretty good without rear steer. Yeah, sideboard trailer that I never used. Why would it be telling me to pick that trailer up now? Well, I think it's got... I think it's got two wooden planks on it is why it's telling me I could use it. Let's see, the road to go back down is up there. So it won't have hurt anything if I bring this trailer out here and drop it. It won't, you know. Tank controller. Between videos, I'm going to have to get batteries for this thing. It won't hurt anything if I park this trailer alongside the road right here. And it won't be in the way. It'll be pointing the right direction and it won't be in the way of coming through with something else. Or it won't be in the way... Oh, God. What I meant to say is it won't be in the way of buying a different trailer at the trailer store. It won't say that there's already something sitting there or whatever. There won't be any interference. Having a trailer sitting there when I'm trying to buy something else. I suppose I could have went all the way around the rock, but then I'd have to go over the guardrail. Your truck by itself, this thing really rambles around. Now the reason I'm doing this... is twofold. Hmm. Well, I was thinking about, well, I want to buy a fuel trailer. Off-road fuel trailer, 4,000 meters, there we go. And I want to pull this up here by the warehouse. Somewhere. leave it off to the side. So if I come up here, when I come up here again in the future, I will have fuel here.
Now what I was thinking about was buying a second M747 trailer to get the Drummond Island load on it. But I think I'm going to change my mind on that. I think I'll just do the logistics base. I'll do a video about delivering the logistics base and then picking up the Drummond Island shit. Just makes me mad that the game I had it set to Drummond Island and somewhere between switching menus it's it, the game switched it to logistics base and I didn't notice I was picking up the wrong shit till I had it all on the trailer But in the last couple minutes of the video here, we're still going to get this thing over to Drummond Island. Didn't I just fuel this up? I thought I just fueled this a couple minutes ago. Did I leave the engine running? I'm going to restock this thing off the fuel trailer. No, I don't want to take it from the Voron Grad. There. Top that off too. There we go. Now this thing is fully fueled again. Away we go. Now we pick up the containers over there. That doesn't mean the fuel needs to be over there. I was thinking about leaving the fuel right around here where it says forged by the sea. I don't know why it says forged by the sea there. Um, if that's a leftover, because there's no tasks, So I don't know why that flag is there, but I'm just going to follow this main road until I get up to here. I'm just going to pull in there. And 
No, dang you, stop spinning. Shouldn't take but a couple minutes. I remember there was a forged by the sea task when I was doing this map. But I completed this map 100%. I just showed you there isn't any task. So maybe it's something that'll pop up once I get over there. Or maybe it's just a glitch. Oh, come on, stay off the railing. Oh, yeah. I remember parking various vehicles right here at this intersection because that was like a good central point to either go one way or the other. I had a fuel trailer there. I don't know why it's giving me a pickup location over there when I have nothing. Wow, it started thunderstorming. When I have nothing started for Drummond Island. See what it says? Show task. Tony again. A little birdie told me that a cargo ship washed ashore not too far from here. Hypothetically, if my employer was interested in that cargo and would pay you to retrieve it, it would uh, would that spark your interest? Well, we already have a mission to pick up cargo containers. This is just explore abandoned ship. See, now there's a job there. Explore abandoned ship. Where we have to go to pick up the cargo containers anyways. That's weird. We're going there anyways. I guess we get the two for one. All right. That's all she wrote on this episode. I'm just gonna park this. Off to the side here, a little more straight. Maybe even up along the closer to the road so I don't have to drive in here. That looks like a wonderful position to come by with another truck and service it and fuel it. Stop engine. Screenshot and stop video. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Didn't get done exactly what I wanted. 
my goal was to get the Mark 23 over here, but I wanted to get the super order for Drummond Island over here too. And I didn't notice the game had switched jobs on me. So I was picking up shit for a different job. Which I will do in the next one, and then I'll deliver the Drummond Island stuff. Alrighty, well thanks for watching.